everybody, one of Weezer here. We are back with Blades. We uh, showcased his base upgrades. I use that to kind of make the executive decision. TV looks darker for some reason. I don't know what the deal is, but use that to make the executive decision that I wanted to take Legendary uh, down Wind Wielder because I thought I might like Shard Shooter better now. Wind Wielder turned out primarily because of crushing Cyclones, crushingly high damage numbers, to be a little bit better than I expected. But that said, we're going to check out uh, Shard Shooter here and kind of see how this one goes down. So uh, it is going to improve the Blade Shard attack, so we'll just jump right in. Well, uh, the Wii Fit body test, it, I went in there, I had it done just in time, you know, and then uh, right when I got to the point where you're going to do the two tests, you know, to determine your Wii Fit age, batteries died, and that kicked me out past midnight, and so it was all for nothing. Well, uh, the good news is the test was done for today, uh, because I didn't know at the time it was past midnight, so anyway, uh, what we're going to do here, again, Wind Wielder, if you want to see that, take the links at the top of the video description box to my site or the Skylander Club form. You can check that out. You can also see the spreadsheet. But we're going to do Shard Shooter here for Standard Blades. It's going to improve the Blade Shard attacks. So, uh, in all honesty, my favorite attack of Blades is his primary one. <laughs> and uh, this was the only path that kind of had anything to do with that. So, um, <clears throat> we didn't buy anything there. We just had the annoying cutscene. Yes, we are. So we begin with Slice Shards. Wing Slice attacks, which again, that's the primary attack that I like, uh, occasionally shoot Blade Shards. Now, what the Blade Shards will do, is it 52 to 78, is it less or greater? I don't know, we're going to find out. 1258 is the price. Bear in mind, I've got 13 Wing Sapphires, so my prices are a little funky sometimes. No fear. Alright, so... Oh, wow. Well, the <laughs> so we had one on the very first time, and then we got some there. So seems like roughly every three, I say that roughly every three, it seems you get that, and it looks like we're shooting three of them out. So yeah, kind of a three shot, kind of a little formation there. So 98, that's still the same. Let me get back to the spreadsheet here. Uh, slice shards, we're doing 98 to 147. So still 98 to 147. Um, sometimes shards shoot in W formation. 16 to 24. So the real buzz kill there is just that it doesn't do it every time. I mean, if you could imagine just us primary attack and each time we have that fire off, that would be pretty cool. I mean, granted, it would take a certain set of enemies to like, kind of fill the gaps correctly, but still. Um, now we get Cutting Edge. That looks eerily similar to the actual wings on Blades himself. Blade Shards do increase damage. The price is 16.28. So the 16 to 24 should increase here. And that'll be nice. So let's go ahead again, pay attention to his wings there. I'm thinking the shards will look something like that. So um, that should apply to all the Blade Shard attacks in my opinion. And it did. We had our uh, little bonus feature here with the 24. I didn't know the combo had that big of a range. So 24, that should be 36 on the shards. Now let's go ahead and see if we get that with the second one. And none of those hit him. Amazing. So 78. What were we doing? Yeah, 52 to 78. And that, I don't see exclamation marks, so I think we're doing 78, and then we should be doing, what, 117? Half of 78 is 39. So, let's see if we can actually get a 117. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. It's also ridiculous that we shoot that many at point blank. There was the critical number, and it looked kind of like a 17, so... Um, cutting edge, we will say 78 to 117. 
I just fought off a sneeze for everyone. No need to thank me. I do my best. Uh, 78 to 117. I just deleted what I had. I think we were doing... What were those? Uh, 24, I think? Yeah, 24 to 36 is going to be on the uh, other shards. So, 78 to 117. And then we have... 24 to 36. Uh, I think that's it. I think we've pretty well covered that. So, um, let's, I guess we'll go ahead and test it in the cycle. So, I wanna get, yeah, so they're doing the 78. Should see, there was a 117, so, well. very nice stuff there. Alright, we're going to get the last upgrade down the shard sh shard shooter path uh, which is shard shrapnel blade shards stick to enemies causing more damage over time price is 2200 no fear all right I don't know if that's gonna showcase here or not but let's find out. yeah So I think that was seven instances of nine. Three. Four. Uh, so four there. Maybe we had two in the first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be tough to document. Three, four. So roughly four times there, I think. So shard shrapnel is going to be nine to half of nine is four and a half. That's thirteen and a half. That would be fourteen. But are they rounding up or down? Is the million dollar question. So let's try that now. Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. It's amazing that we have so many hits Press without critical. The game to return <laughs> to playing as your like a single critical hit. I feel like in the next game there needs to be an option to turn Eon off, you know. Like it's great he's got some good advice and everything, but you know. We're not rookies, we've, we've been here. Oh, this is pathetic. What you wouldn't give for the pedestals and swap floors to put all the critical hit trophies out. And the only reason I'm having to do this is their math tables are kind of skewed this year. I never know if that's going to turn out to be 13 or 14. And I feel obligated to try my best to find an answer. Really? That's just pathetic, you know? I'm gonna double our chances on that. Can't really see both of them. Kind of I can. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. It'll be the last time I tried. I mean, the fact that we can get that many without a critical is just mind-boggling. I think we have three in him that time, so I'm going to put nine to thirteen and a half, and whether that's thirteen or fourteen, I don't know. About um, but basically nine to thirteen and a half, roughly four times. There we go. Hit every key but the four there. Alright, so um, that's that. We're going to come in now and pick up his soul gym. This is instant swirl shards for 2960 cyclone swirls, that's our tertiary attack, automatically contain blade shards. So this is a minor deal, but it's actually kind of cool, at least in my opinion. So, we'll back off over here now and we spawn this. Note that the blades are already there. As we scoot in closer... Oh wow. I still, I'm seeing the 9 and I'm not seeing the 13. So that's actually pretty cool, in all honesty. And again, you can go about it that way. That's a lot of residual damage. I mean, I'm kind of highlighting to you why this path uh, could be good. <laughs> uh, and it's mainly to do with the shrapnel, especially in this case. 
That's just embedding the shrapnel like crazy. Uh, but basically the way that's going to do it's going to be 45 to 78. And then... What is it doing? Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. Then press the tag button again to return huh. to playing as your sky. Guess I quite understand here. So the cyclone itself is still doing 45 to 67. And then I had from our previous one it was 52 to 78 when they made impact. And then this, of course, I guess since they're bigger, uh, more shrapnel -y, you know, they're going to do the 78. So I guess we need to document that. Um, 58, 16 to 24 range, and then... Da -da -da. Let me, I guess we'll do it this way. Uh, Semi-cooling? Oh no, it just took everything away. Curse you, Excel. All right. So, on the wind wielder, it's 52 to 78, 16 to 24, and then on shard shooter, it's going to be wind wing 78 to 117 with the residual. So, 78. You know what? I am going to make a new entry here. That's just when you're too to much information. So... Shard Shooter equals 78 to 117 with 9 to 13 and a half. I still don't think I've seen a critical. 9 to 13 and a half, 4x residual, and the ranged if we ever had it would be 16 to 24 still, I think. Not 0 0.24, but 16 to 0.24. Alright, so, I think that pretty well covers it. That doesn't need to be in bold. Let me fix that on the spreadsheet here. And the spreadsheet's not happy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to say, if that deletes all my documentation, I'll be one angry little guy. Uh, that said, this is Blades. This is the Shard Shooter. Uh, again, Legendary. We took down Wind Wielder. I'd honestly say this one's kind of a toss. Um, it just depends what you prefer to do with him better. If you like the Cyclone, take Wind Wielder. Uh, if you prefer, you know, residual deals where basically, you know, we can do that and it's going to do the residual damage and I can run off and then come up here and attack or set things up. Uh, it's mainly if you like being in the heat of the battle, if you're in the Cyclone, then Crunching Cyclone, Crushing Cyclone, which you get from Wind Wielder, uh, is very beneficial. And if you prefer kind of more of the hit and run or the defensive type deal, uh, you would not want the Cyclone to follow you. You would want to leave it downstairs and then maybe... Let's see if we can do that, actually. Let's put the Cyclone here and run up here and see if we can just interject. I guess it's still going to follow us, but, you know, not as fast. Um, but we can basically load that thing up. Again, the damage from the blades isn't as instantaneous, but you get all that residual. Which, as you can see, that can turn out to be a big deal. So, really, it comes down to personal preference. Um, neither path is quite what I had hoped it would have been. And I think I could come up with some things to make each a little bit better. But, uh, the main gripe I have still with either path, and primarily with the base upgrades, I guess, is just the blades doesn't fly. He's an air element dragon. He's got jumbo wings. He looks ep epic. Uh, he's got great aesthetics. Uh, he's pretty unique, in all honesty, and yet he can't fly, and that's that's kind of a buzzkill. Was that a critical? It may have been. I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think what I saw was a 9 out of the corner of my eye, so I'm going to end this so I have a good reference point of finding that, and, and then maybe correct the spreadsheet, but 
Uh, again, this is Blades down the Shard Shooter Path. Legendary Blades is down Wind Wielder. If you take those links to the top of the video description box, they will take you to the post dedicated to Blades. You can see all of his upgrade paths. You can see his base upgrades. You will have access to my exclusive attack damage spreadsheet, uh, which you can use to make uh, choices for when you upgrade your Blades or Legendary Blades. Uh, if you enjoy what you see here, please subscribe. It'll keep you up with all the latest. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus, whichever you prefer. Uh, personal site, oneofweezum.com. I also run the Skylander Club forum, which you can find at skylanderclub.com. Check that out. If you like what you see there on the forum, sign up. We would love to have you. That said, for myself, Blades, Legendary Blades, both his upgrade paths, and all the crazy damage numbers we try to document. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here as we will likely go on to introduce uh, Legendary Bushwhack and Nitro Headrush tonight.